There will be more specialised help in mathematics and English language for weaker students. Minister Heng said this is part of the ministry's aim to help every student complete at least secondary education. With the help of these colourful learning tools and games for the normal technical stream at Badok View Secondary, students can now better visualise mathematical concepts. Using LG discs, students can clearly differentiate between numbers and variables. No need to like teacher writing on a board and we listen. So I find more good for us to understand the topic. We found that um, because they have different learning needs, um, they are not the usual kind who likes a lot of um, writing and a pen and paper or the teacher teaching on the board. So we found that when we engaged them, we gave them manipulatives, like just now the LGDs and the snake and ladder game. They were more interested and they wanted to, to do more. Adding a little boost in a classroom is a second teacher who can help track the students' progress. He's able to explain on the spot, yeah, whatever I, I say, and then they didn't, they didn't catch it, yeah. And some of them are afraid to ask, uh, raise their hands and ask. So with the co-teacher standing next to them, they are more uh, willing to ask him also. These are part of the ministry's effort to provide more resources and support in mathematics class for primary and secondary students. Other than mathematics, the ministry is also providing extra support for primary one and two students struggling with the English language. At Tatiao Primary, these students write a composition with the teacher's help. The teacher then cuts it up, turning it into a jigsaw puzzle which students have to put back together. I like to write sentences because um, I can write many words. They feel a sense of pride and take ownership that, hey, these sentences are mine and so on. So that really boosts up their confidence level. And also when they go about doing the rearranging of the words to form the sentences, as well as rearranging the letters to form the words. So that, again, they are, it's also like self-directed learning. Mr. Hing said these programs will ensure any students who needs additional help to achieve a strong foundation in numeracy and literacy will get it. Our education system must continue to provide opportunities for all, regardless of their parents' position. We must remain inclusive and provide opportunities for our children from different backgrounds to grow up together. Mr. Hing said the ministry will also provide training to all teachers who need it and deploy 600 more teachers. Separately, the number of primary schools offering programs to help students with dyslexia will be doubled to 42. This follows the success of the program which was piloted in 20 schools last year, benefiting some 120 students. The ministry is also providing more help for students with severe special needs. It's extending post-diagnosis educational guidance services to all primary schools by the end of the year.